morning, everyone. Uh, most respected Chancellor of the University, uh, Hawk Sir, and uh, distinguished ladies on the dais, uh, Mrs. Trinity and uh, Mrs. Goswami, uh, Dr. Mr. Sharma, and my dear students. And of course, uh, Giri Mollika, the head of the department. Uh, she happens to be my sister also, actually. So we call her. Should I tell you your name? Jumka. <laughs> anyway, uh, I am really very honored today that you have invited me to share some time uh, with you here on this auspicious day, Social Work, World Social Work Day. And I was so happy to uh, listen to the lectures of um, uh, Mrs. Trinity and uh, Janavi. Actually, they have excelled in their respective area of uh, work and definitely social work. There are many facets of social work. And while I was listening and enjoying the ambience of this hall, I was thinking Mr. Hawk has done a very remarkable social work by establishing this university. So like that, social work can have many facets. It's not like that. Uh, generally, we have a uh, mindset in our childhood that, <coughs> sorry, like cleaning the road in the village or doing some embankment somewhere, that was uh, social work. <coughs> so uh, I may be allowed to recall, I was, uh, I think, class seven or eight uh, standard student in my village school in 1973 or 74. So one batch of students from Cotton College, they came to our area uh, for some social work. What was that social work? Actually, one river is to bridge the embankment and uh, the river changed its course. So it started flowing uh, right through many villages and threatening that the entire uh, area of uh, those villages will be destroyed by that river, which is flowing out of uh, the Bhutan hills. So <coughs> people had a perception that it is a natural force and we can't change it. Maybe we'll have to abandon uh, that entire area. Now, uh, some a group of 50 students, some girls, some boys from Cotton College, they came. And uh, they started uh, like restoring the left uh, course of that river by digging it and by blocking the other side. Initially, the people were just onlookers because they already had no confidence that they can do it again. Now, when the students from Cotton College, Cotton College is a very prestigious college, so like that changed the mindset of the entire people. Like we were school students and we also joined them. The villagers in large numbers, in thousands, they all came and that changed the, and they were, what was done, impossibility was made possible. The original river was restored and uh, embankment was reconstructed and those villages were saved. So that particular event actually, uh, I still remember and it changed the way we used to think that nothing is impossible if willpower is there and if we work as a society. Now, social work, because this is the department and you are the expert, so I am not an expert of social work. Uh, I am a village boy, old man I can say, but anyway. Uh, but I like working and uh, primarily I got the recognition uh, with the Padma Sri Award because of my certain association a lifelong association with elephants actually. I work for elephants, healthcare. Uh, I'm a professor in veterinary college, so I never neglect my duty in the college. I attend all the classes. I guide students, I do all research and uh, thesis writing and paper writing and all that. But <clears throat> as a passion, I do healthcare of elephants that I have been doing last 35 years since I was graduated. Now, that has caught the attention and Madam has said I was not expecting a Padma Sri. See, uh, we must mention why we got Padma Sri. And I know why Madam got Padma Sri. 
It is only because of our most honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Because when I was chosen for Padma Sri, I was surprised who could have nominated my name. I was expecting the forest department, at least somebody will call me and take uh, credit, Dr. Sarma, I am so happy we have uh, nominated or we have forwarded your name for that. Nobody came forward. So the declaration I, I received in 2020, the declaration came on 25th of January. So uh, initially I thought it must be the Chief Wiley Award and not because I worked with them. Nobody came forward. Next day, in the uh, like 26 January parade, Governor and Chief Minister they also uh, felicitated me. And the way Chief Minister hold my hands, I felt that he might have nominated my name. But I had a doubt because as a member of State Wildlife Advisory Board, I had arguments with him. Because I am a village boy, I already told you. So, whatever I feel true, I stand for that. Actually, uh, some clandestine elephant movement was going on, like the with the permission of government, some elephants were being sent out of Assam, which was illegal, unethical. So, I, pro I protested. And everybody was silent, and I protested. I had an argument with the chief minister. So, I thought, will he forward my name? Because he must have thought me as an opponent or something like that. But, so I had the doubt. Anyway, a couple of year, months uh, afterwards, one of my close relative, uh, during the lockdown period, he had a brain cancer and suddenly he had to be sent to Delhi for treatment urgently by a charter flight. So, uh, the Director General of CBI, he happened to be my junior in Cotton College. So I called him that uh, you please help uh, my relative, uh, they are going, husband and wife, uh, in a charter flight, they will be in Delhi airport and you have to arrange their movement uh, from the airport to the hospital. Then he said, oh, I will do it. Uh, then he said, uh, Kusolda, do you know how did you get the Padma Sri? I said, honestly, I don't know. But I feel it could be the chief minister. He said, no. It is the prime minister himself. Because as the boss of CBI, I know. Because the list come to us from chief minister's office. And then we have to find out whether they really deserve or not. Madam, we do not know what happens behind. Actually, a lot of things happen. We do not know. Uh, like, so actually, he, I asked the is it CBI, is it raw or it is the political system? No, the Prime Minister. Uh, I work with uh, an NGO also, Blue Cross Society. I was the longest serving Joint Secretary, then longest serving General Secretary, and now I'm longest serving President of that society. We serve the animals in distress. So uh, we don't keep numbers and all that. But see, uh, that is one way. Because I am expertise is on social work. Uh, rather than going and cleaning or sweeping the road one day and taking pictures as a social worker, if we every day keep our habits clean, don't throw things outside. I often see people are driving and throwing empty bottles of uh, bottles or polythene or something like that. Children. These days, many children are not sincere, not sensitized. We want your generation to be very sensitized on these issues. Once again, I would like to recall the behavior of our Prime Minister. In one of the events in Delhi, that he was receiving uh, an international dignitary in the airport. And uh, like in something, he was wiping his hand with a tissue. And then, he was just busy with those people and he didn't notice. And do you know what he did with the tissue? He kept it in his pocket. Generally, most of the people will just throw it. Oblivious. Huh? Without bothering to know that that is also uh, like damaging, um, you know, 
making it unclean. Wherever we go, we we have to develop that habit. If we are clean, we do not have to clean, uh, clean it again. Like socially, positive people who are discriminated upon. I, I didn't know many things that I learned uh, from her today. That the social, uh, the sex workers and transgender people, that they are discriminated upon. Like that. Even I felt that these Taliwala people, they can work, they look very strong. Those, those people, no, transgenders, they are standing on the road and they are clapping and asking for money. I don't have a habit of giving them. In the railway, I remember, so uh, when I see them, I pretend sleeping. <laughs> then they will give push. Hey, Rajesh Khanna, like that. So I am very scared of them. So anyway, uh, I had a negative feeling, honestly speaking. But I realized that they are also uh, our, uh, like member of our society, they also need to survive. And they say that police is to extort money from them. Such a pity uh, thing that these are also things we have to fight. Uh, so so uh, it's very nice today. I will not take much of your time. I am very honored that you have uh, invited me and uh, given me some uh, opportunity to share my views with my students in particular. And uh, I would just like to say that actually my specialization is wildlife work. Uh, though I am a surgeon, veterinary surgeon, but I, I, I mostly work with elephant and rhino, initially with healthcare, then with the welfare of elephants. And now I am also working on conservation of elephants. So the way we contribute to the society, often we don't realize. Because I enjoy doing it, I was enjoying. Suddenly one day I realized in uh, North Carolina, because I am a guest lecturer of North Carolina University in the US and also in New Mexico. So when they invite me to deliver lecture, one day they also organized one talk uh, in, a city, in a public library. Uh, like some 500 people joined there. So somebody asked me, the Dr. Sarma, you work as a professor and you have to uh, spend your time with your students and your lab and your operation theaters. How do you find time to attend so many elephants? Because they learned that every year I handle the record number of elephants. I have the world record of controlling rogue elephants, which is uh, 140. 140 rogue elephants I controlled and disciplined. Many in Meghalaya also, and uh, in many places. So then I say, uh, if it is a crisis situation, then I take leave and go. And the classes that I miss, I wake up. I call my students even at night. Even at night, they come to attend my classes. So like that only I manage. But generally, the preemptive health camp, suppose in Kajiranga National Park, there are 60 captive elephants, duty elephants. So they, we do uh, yearly four preemptive health camps, like checking their health, urine, blood, and stool are examined. And then uh, we give them vaccination, we give them uh, deworming tablets, and the general type of treatment. So I keep my weekends for this type of program. So when that person asked me uh, in North Carolina, Rolik, that how do you find time for all that? I said, my weekends are here. So I drive my own Scorpio uh, on uh, Saturday afternoon after my classes. Then uh, I, sorry. Uh, then I work whole Sunday and by night, Sunday, again I drive back or early morning, Monday and straight away I come to my department. That is how I work. I don't care about my clothing and all that. I am very casual. So, oh my God, you have never enjoyed weekends in your 35 years long service life. That is tremendous because in Western countries they cannot think of that. By Friday afternoon they become wild. They all... <laughs> So I didn't realize that. Only there I realized that. Yes, that is remarkable. Anyway, so why I said, okay, I don't want to take credit because I enjoy doing that. I enjoy. I don't think that I am serving a lot because that gives me pleasure. My own mind gets 
pleasure from doing that and I enjoy it. So sir, uh, sometimes I may come and share wildlife issues with your students, conservation issues, elephant, rhino, and other like climate change, and all that, those issues which uh, are very pertinent to the present society, as well as futures uh, of uh, our generation. So uh, whatever little uh, knowledge I have, because I also deliver all over India, and since the lockdown, I have a lot of lectures uh, to be delivered online. Even today, I have to deliver a lecture for Junagar University in the afternoon. Tomorrow also I have. And uh, my mother is in a very critical state of health. So I never know, but till something happens, I will continue like this. So I offer myself that if you can arrange or in some occasion or something, I would love to address the students and faculty regarding issues relating to uh, wildlife conservation. So thank you very much. Once again, I thank everyone for giving me opportunity. And uh, Ma'am Trinity, Ma'am Janavi, Thank you very much, and uh, in such occasion only we can find, uh, we can know each other. Thank you very much.